Thank you so much, Prabhu, for giving me this platform. I especially thank to Karthi Prabhu and His Grace Pralad Prabhu for allowing me to present. Thank you, Shyam. So, Prabhu, today uh, I will be presenting on the most important topic, uh, which is uh, very important in our bhakti life. That is association. We have uh, two types of association: either bad association or good association. How we should differentiate among that? It is very important in our life, so that we may avoid the association of bad and actually a satsanga, and we can make progress in our life. And we should know how to associate with the devotees because until and unless we know about how to associate with devotees, we do not take the advantage of association. We have around four hundred twenty members in our Vaishnava Sangha group, but everybody are not. Going to take uh, the advantage of these sessions, uh, Ista Goshti sessions, and all the sessions which are going up regularly. So these are the contents about which of the topics we are going to discuss. So uh, I want to give an example that, uh, like the materialists, uh, they have a conception that to gain uh, some experience, work in an internship, they go with to work with the senior members to have their experience. Like somebody wants to work in a particular company or a particular field. he wants to associate with the group members or the group of people who are uh, seniors and gain experience from him or them so that he can make progress in that field. so here is a uh, very nice quote from hari bhakti sahaya 8.51 as the qualities of a nearby object are reflected in a crystal one similarly takes on the qualities of a person with whom he associates therefore in order to increase one's devotional sentiment in his own line a wise person should take shelter of those who have the same temperament so whenever we are going to associate with somebody it is in their qualities we are going to only acquire uh, suppose we are going to like i have given the example the materialists do in their internship they usually associate with the senior employees so that they can have experience similarly in our bhakti life to increase our devotional sentiment as a wise person we should take shelter of those who have the same temperament and same temperament means those who have the same mentality to achieve the goal that is krishna prema and another purport uh, given by shila prabhupada in the uh, shrimad bhagavatam canto 2 uh, chapter 10 verse number 41 but in spite of the individual mode of passion there is always the chance of being influenced by other modes of nature by association if one is in good association he can develop the mode of goodness and if in bad association he may develop the mode of darkness or ignorance nothing is stereotype one can change his habit by good or bad association and one has to become intelligent enough to discriminate between two between two good or uh, and bad the best association is the service of the devotees of the lord and by that association one can become the highest qualified man by the grace of the lord's pure devotees so with whom we are going to associate that more we are only going to achieve suppose we are associating with the uh, people who are in mode of passion they are hankering for normally in our school and colleges basically in india they have a mentality to achieve more money to achieve a good job and all that stuff basically these people are in the mode of passion so if we are going to associate with them more and more we have that mode of passion we have that we basically have that mode but if we are going to associate with the people who are in good as uh, good goodness mode of goodness that is good association basically the people who are devotees of krishna by that we can have that mode of goodness and uh, like uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu says Uh, when he was asked how to achieve krishna prema very easy so it is a very nice quote i do not remember the verse uh, particularly but uh, krishna says chaitanya mahaprabhu says prabhu ka hai vaishnav seva nama sankirtana to hi kar shikra pave shri krishna chara so two things are really very important vaishnav seva and nama sankirtan so if we are not in the association of devotees how we are going to uh, serve the vaishnavas how we can do the nama sankirtan without uh, associating with the devotees another verse uh, is a very nice verse from shrimad bhagavatam canto 11 chapter 3 shloka number 30 one should learn how to associate with the devotees of the lord by gathering with them to chant the glories of the lord this process is most purifying as devotees thus develop their loving friendship they feel mutual happiness and satisfaction and by thus encouraging one another they are able to give up material sense gratification which is the cause of all suffering narottam das thakur uh, always says uh, in most of his nice verse uh, quotes by narottam das thakur 
तांडेर चरण से भी भक्त सने बास जनमे जनमे मोर ए अभिलास सो वी शुड ऑलवेज हैंकर टू एसोसिएट विद द डिवोटीज एंड वी मस्ट नो हाउ टू एसोसिएट विद द डिवोटीज अंटिल एंड अनलेस वी नो Uh, how to associate with the devotees? How to take the benefit of the association of the devotees? We are not going to progress in our bhakti life. As I have given the practical example, we have more than four hundred twenty members in our Vaishnava Sangha group. Everyone is not attending uh, those sessions. We are uh, every time we are uh, requesting everybody to join. Uh, like a uh, very nice example, uh, one time Nimai Tai Das Prabhu was giving. that they are only looking the ocean from outside they are not going, not getting inside they said uh, getting deep into the ocean and looking towards the beauty of the ocean inside so we must learn how to associate with the devotees basically we are doing that every time uh, every day actually in the brahma murta we are chanting about the glories of the lord we are chanting hare krishna maha mantra hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare so we are actually chanting the glories of the lord what we are chanting that o oh, energy of the lord o oh, my lord krishna o oh, my lord rama please engage me in your devotional service every time we are chanting so we should do that in the association of the devotees and we can release that so now we will uh, be discussing about the association of the devotees what are the benefits so it is a nice uh, answer given to uh, bob cohen by shrila prabhupad Uh, in the book of perfect questions and perfect answers you have to purify your existence and your body as many times as you accept a material body you will have to change it but as soon as you get a spiritual body there is no question of change you already have a spiritual body now due to our material contamination we are developing the material body but if we associate with spiritual life then we shall develop a spiritual body the ex- same example i have several times given is that if you put an iron rod within fire it will become like a fire so how we can purify our existence every time from the time in the miracle we have been changing our life in changing our body there are 84 uh, billion species of life and every time we are changing until and unless we make our body spiritual how we can spiritualize our body Shrila Prabhupada is quoting, if we associate with spiritual life, what is spiritual life? If we are not going to associate with the devotees, if we are not uh, in the association of the devotees, how we can make our life spiritual? So if we want to make our body spiritual, if we want to be delivered from this repeated birth and death, we must associate with the devotees and learn how to associate and how to take the benefit. Simply by associating with exalted devotees, anyone can attain perfection. of knowledge and with the sword of knowledge can cut to pieces the illusory associations within this material world through the association of devotees one can engage in the service of the lord by hearing and chanting shravanam kirtanam thus one can revive his dormant krishna consciousness and sticking to the cultivation of krishna consciousness return home back to godhead even in this life so we simply by associating with the exalted devotees who are exalted devotees the devotees who are actually following the path of bona fide uh, parampara evam parampara prapta uh, like krishna states evam parampara prapta every time uh, means uh, the knowledge which was given by krishna as it is to be presented that is the actual parampara system and those who are following that as it is they are exalted devotees anyone can attain perfection of knowledge and with the sword of knowledge can cut to pieces the illusory association within this material world so simply if we are associating with the exalted devotees we can cut the sword of knowledge illusory actually we are all in the in the mode of illusion we are mode in the mode of ignorance from uh, the beginning of the kali yuga we are all in the mode of ignorance we are in the illusory energy mama maya durataya so krishna says this so until and unless we are associating with the exalted devotees we cannot cut this illusory uh, association within this material world every time we are associating with this illusory peoples who are in the mode of ignorance so through the association of the devotees one can engage in the service of lord by hearing and chanting this things we are uh, uh, doing every time in every week in every day in the vaishnava sangha group but some people are not 
uh, taking benefit of this every time we are chanting in the morning brahma murta we are chanting the glories of uh, krishna every time so that is kirtanam and shravanam also we are doing since we are hearing from the devotees those who are chanting both things are happening in sunday sessions we have having this ishtagoshti sessions we are hearing from uh, his grace prahlad bhakta prabhu or all, all our senior devotees like uh, we have q and a sessions from uh, his grace sundar gopal prabhu so by this association we can revive his dormant krishna consciousness our dormant krishna consciousness actually we are all krishna conscious we uh, like uh, it has been quoted in uh, chaitanya charitamrita jivera swarupa hoy nitya krishnera nitya das we are all the we are all actually servants of krishna but we have uh, like uh, it is uh, a very nice example given by shila prabhu until and unless the iron rod within the fire uh, iron rod is put into the fire it will can it cannot become fire so if we are associating with fire who are fire the association with the uh, devotees devotees are like fire we are iron when we are put into the fire association of the devotees we are reviving the co- consciousness the actual consciousness that is krishna consciousness and by that consciousness we can return home back to godhead even in this life only if one lives in the association of devotees there is a little chance of associating with devotees or non devotees it is a uh, it is from chapter of devotion uh, instruction verse number 3 uh, it is the purport given by shila prabhupad so if we are associating with the devotees naturally we have a less chance of associating with the non devotees actually uh, 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 normally uh, the people uh, who are non devotees they have uh, one in talks about the politics uh naturally and they talk about uh mundane gadgets mundane topics about girls and all these stuffs but naturally if we are going to associate with the devotees we generally keep uh, means uh, what we say that we have a little chance of associating with the non devotees uh, we put less importance and less interest with associating with the non devotees naturally we have a degradation in the interest of uh, discussing all this mountain top uh, another uh, purport from that same verse letter of instruction verse number 3 if one strictly follows the advice given in the verse by shila rupa goswami namely being enthusiastic being confident being passionate giving up the association of uh, unwanted persons following the regulative principles and remaining in the association of devotees one is sure to advance in devotional service if we are strictly following the uh, advice of shila rupa goswami that is being enthusiastic uh, you cannot become enthusiastic alone okay uh, like uh, you cannot uh, just uh, stay in a room that and chant yourself and say that i am enthusiastic and i can feel the uh, krishna prema by all your endeavor without the association of devotees it is not possible that's why sh- remaining in the association of devotees we must follow all these things we should confident how to uh, build that confidence by talking with the devotees exalted devotees every type of devotees being passionate how actually uh, there are something sometimes uh, uh, there are some t- means there are some what we say being passionate sometimes there are uh, some uh, controversies or uh, little misunderstanding uh, among the devotees uh, about the sevas but in that situation we must be passion and we must give up the association of unwanted person who are unwanted persons the those who are non devotees who are uh, who have not the mentality of serving krishna and following the regulative principles without remaining in the association of devotees it is not possible to follow the regulative principles because maya is so strong that it can lead one to uh, to fall down because maya uh, like shila prabhupada always quotes uh, in his lectures that maya always tells that that this rascal is uh, actually want krishna or he is just uh, trying uh, just he is uh, what we say that he uh, he just uh, testing on that shila prabhupada always quotes in his uh, lectures so for that reason maya always uh, try to attack us so how we can be protected from that without remaining in the association of devotees another uh, verse from chaitanya charitamrita abhilila 7.8 a neophyte disciple begins by hearing and chanting associating with devotees and practicing the regulative principles and thus he vanquishes all of his unwanted bad habits in this way 
He develops attachment for Krishna and cannot forget Krishna even for a moment. Bhava is the almost successful stage of spiritual life. So how a neophyte disciple begins? Now by hearing and chanting. We have all started our bhakti life either by hearing or reading by reading Srila Prabhupada books. That is Kirtana. Now we can consider that as Kirtana. Actually, whenever we are reading Srila Prabhupada books, we are hearing from directly, we are associating with Srila Prabhupada and hearing from him only. We are hearing from Srila Prabhupada and chanting the glories of uh, uh, Krishna that, that is chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, O oh, uh, energy of the Lord, O oh, Krishna, please engage me in your devotional service. And that to be done in the association of the devotees. And by associating with the devotees and practicing the regulatory principles that I, we have already discussed in the previous uh, purport given by Srila Prabhupada in Nectar of Instruction, we cannot follow the regulative principles until and unless we are uh, in the association of devotees. So, a neophyte disciple can uh, progress and uh, vanquish all his unwanted bad habits uh, that he has from time innumerable. Uh, we have different types of material desires. That's why we are drowning in the ocean of ignorance, uh, in the ocean of nescience. We do not know what is our real goal. Thanks to Srila Prabhupada, who, due to whom uh, we have actually here in the bona fide association of the devotees. So until and unless <clears throat> a neophyte disciple is associating with the devotees and practicing the regulative principles, he cannot vanquish his unwanted bad habits. So in this way, he can uh, develop the attachment for Krishna and cannot forget Krishna. If we are 24 hour, hours associating with the devotees. Uh, uh, actually, this 24 hours principle can be followed by those who are uh, in the temple. They can feel that aura. <clears throat> that They can feel that aura because they are 24 hours uh, doing uh, the service of Krishna only in the association of the devotees. There are a lot of brahmacharis. They are doing uh, the seva for Krishna. They are engaging us to do this seva or that seva. But I am that for unfortunate soul that I am unable to associate with them. So that is a different thing. So even for a moment, we cannot forget Krishna because we are in the association of the devotees and 24 hours we are doing Krishna's seva only. And ultimately, bhava stage is the uh, most almost successful stage. And this can only be reached by, uh, by if we are in the association of devotees. Another uh, verse from C.C. Madhya 2286. The spiritually powerful message of Godhead can be properly discussed only in a society of devotees. And it is greatly pleasing to hear in that association. If one hears from devotees, the way of transcendental experience quickly opens and gradually one attains in faith. That in due course develops into attraction and devotion. It is a very nice verse, actually. Because without, if uh, generally, uh, if you... Uh, we take the practical example, if whenever we are trying to preach a non-devotee, he generally do not pay any attention to uh, hear about Krishna Katha and all that. That's why in every lecture, Srila Prabhupada do not start. Uh, nowadays, these people of Iskand devotees, they are starting with Krishna Katha directly. But uh, if you listen to the lectures of Srila Prabhupada, he always states uh, from uh, these things that how, why we are drowning in this ocean, how we are facing the problems, what type of problems we are facing. Srila Prabhupada always quotes these things. And after all these discussions, at last, uh, at, uh, about 10 to 15 minutes, he only discusses about the, those pastimes of Krishna and uh, what have uh, actually the purport is. Why? Because uh, everyone is not interested. And these things can only be discussed properly in the association of the devotees. And this, uh, if we are associating with the devotees and if we are hearing from the devotees in the association of the devotees, we can understand the real message of Godhead and properly discuss. Until and unless we are not associating with the devotees and uh, discussing about the Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charita, Amrit, we cannot understand the real message of Godhead given by uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or Srila Vyasadeva has mentioned all uh, those things in Srimad Bhagavatam and 
the real message of krishna given in the bhagavad gita we cannot understand until and unless we are in the association of association of devotees and we can we cannot realize the real rasa until and unless we are in the association of the devotees and if one hears from the devotees the way of transcendental experience quickly opens and gradually one attains faith faith that in due course of de- due course develops into attraction attraction devotion and if we are associating with the devotees and if we are hearing from the devotees and naturally we have a tendency to um, read more and learn more about krishna and to hear more about krishna then uh, we will be discussing about the association of non devotees so non devotees uh, basically we are uh, going to discuss with whom we should avoid avoid associating so <laughs> it is a nice purport from uh, nectar of instruction uh, verse number 5 by shila prabhupa we can see from practical experience that there are different types of vaishnavas the prakrita sahajiyas generally chant the hare krishna maha mantra yet they are attached to own money and intoxication although such persons may chant the holy name of the lord they are not yet properly purified such people should be respected within one's mind but their association should be avoided this uh, verse i want to if uh, i am permitted uh, i want to give one example uh, actually it is a practical example that had happened to me one time uh, actually in the association of uh, before that uh, when i was living with the uh, devotees uh, means they are so we can call them so called devotees actually though they are actually followers of iskon only so one of them actually what he was doing we have morning sessions and all mangala aarti and all and after that what he does is in the evening time he used to watch uh, uh, that all those bad movies Uh, that uh, he used to consume that pornographic uh, content so these are prakrita sahajiyas only they are just trying to show off that yes i am a vaishnava they are chanting hare krishna maha mantra yet they are attached to women money and intoxication there are so many devotees you can see uh, uh, basically they are chanting hare krishna maha mantra but still they are attached to money uh, means uh, they they have a uh, misconception that prabhu uh, i want to earn more money so that i can serve uh, krishna but when they get money they have uh, different excuses that uh, prabhu uh, i cannot do this because i have some financial issues and all that stuff this naturally happens until and unless we are fully surrendered to krishna that to be uh, in the association of devotees we cannot progress so these are all prakrita sahajiyas they uh, are uh, they are chanting hare krishna maha mantra but they are attached to women and money and intoxication so we must avoid this association these association can uh, actually influence as much and uh, oh, generally we will be degraded to the uh, mode of ignorance only and we will cannot uh, we cannot understand the real krishna prema we should uh, not chant we may chant the holy name uh, with them but we should not associate much with them we should uh, avoid their association then the prakrita sahajiyas do not consult the vedic literatures and they are devachis women hunters and smokers of ganja sometimes they give a theor- theoretical performance and cry for the lord and uh, lord with the tears in their eyes of course all scriptural conclusions are washed up by these tears <laughs> the prakrita sahajiyas do not realize that they are violating the orders of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu who specifically said that to understand vrindavan and the past times of vrindavan one must have sufficient knowledge of the shastras vedic literatures as stated in shrimad bhagavatam bhaktaya shruta kritya so uh, here uh, one time uh, shila prabhupad was giving uh, lecture on shrimad bhagavatam at uh, vrindavan Uh, in the Radha Sham Sundar Temple, uh, that is Krishna Balram Temple, Vrindavan. So one time, one devotee uh, came. Actually, he was a sahaji. We can say uh, so. Uh, she came and ch- uh, cried loudly. Oh Krishna! Oh Krishna! Oh Krishna! Means started to cry loudly. Every devotees, uh, those who are listening to the lecture of Shri La Prabhupada, they uh, started turning. Uh, to that devotee who was crying 
So Srila Prabhupada said angrily that remove that rascal from the temple. So why he said that? Because he knew that he was only a Sahajiya. He means he is only uh, like uh, sometimes they give a theoretical performance. He is only performing theoretical performance and trying to cry for the Lord with the tears in their eyes. But actual tear, uh, we should not express our emotions in front of others. Many times Shula Prabhupada has explained, if we are in ecstasy, otherwise uh, generally we are not in ecstasy because uh, we are not in that stage. But if we are in that stage also, we should not show it off to others. If we are showing it off, if uh, others are showing it off, then he is a sahajiya. He is trying to only show it off. And uh, they are women hunters also. We have seen that they put uh, tilak and kanthimala and they usually uh, smoke beedi, ganjas and they are women hunters. They only talk about, oh, this girl is looking like gopi and all this stuff. Many of the things had happened. Always Srila Prabhupada discusses about the Babaji's in the uh, Vrindavan, many times Srila Prabhupada has quoted these things. We must avoid those associations. If we are going to associate with them, generally uh, this uh, will affect our uh, consciousness and we, we will be de degraded to the mode of ignorance and we will have that consciousness also. We should associate with the devotees only and we must know who are Sahajiyas, who are real Bhaktas or real Vaishnavas. Until and unless uh, suppose one is saying that I am in the Baba stage of Prabhu, I can understand Krishna now. That is uh, nonsense, Srila Prabhupada says. Now, how you can go to Baba stage? So, we must understand who is a Prakrata Sahajya and who is a real Vaishnava. So, it is a nice uh, verse from Shishi Madhya 2.91. It is better to accept the miseries of being encased within bars. And surrounded by burning flames, then to associate with those benefit of Krishna consciousness. Such association is very great hardship. So it is very, it is better to accept the miseries. We are, we should be ready to accept the miseries, uh, even uh, if we are put into the bars with fire. But we should as never associate with those women hunters, those people who are drinking ganjas who are addicted to the movies, who are addicted to the money. These are simply, they can uh, hamper our consciousness, hamper our real love towards Krishna. We will forget Krishna, actual love for Krishna. We should not, even we, if we are put into the miseries, we should, uh, we should accept those miseries, but we should not associate with those people who are benefit of Krishna consciousness. Another a uh, quote from Shishi Madhya 22.92 One should not even see those who are benefit of devotional service in Krishna consciousness and who are there for devoid of pious activities. So, you can see, we should not even see, means we should not even look to them actually. If we are looking to them, also we are uh, affecting our con consciousness, devotional service, who are, they are actually devoid of pious activities. Because they are always engaged in uh, after money. They are running after money only. They are running after how to get a beautiful woman. They are running which movie has been uh, uploaded in the YouTube. Which movie is coming to the theater. These things they are only hankering after. So they are devoid of pious activities. Sangata Sanjayate Kama. It is a uh, verse from Bhagavad Gita chapter 262. So one develops his consciousness according to society and association. As we have discussed from that, uh, that uh, whenever uh, we are associating with the people, we generally acquire their consciousness or the, like a crystal. Krishna Nityananda Prabhu admits a devotee should be very careful when associating with those who are not devotees. When asked by a householder devotee what type of behavior of a devotee should be, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu immediately replied, Asat Sangatya E Vaishnavachara Stri Sangi Eka Asadu Krishna Bhaktar. So, uh, this is a nice pastime uh, we will be discussing after this slide uh, between Sri Nityananda Prabhu and Advaita Prabhu. Uh, Advaita Acharya has been placed so, to teach us 
uh, the real essence we will be discussing but we must uh, means give up the association of non devotees asat sanga tyag ei vaishnavacha this is the real identity of the vaishnav real quality of the vaishnav asat sanga tyag which must give up the association of the non devotees stri sanghi ek asat who is a sadhu na who is a, who is associating with women who is always thinking of women they are asadhu krishna bhakta all others are krishna devotees a vaishnava devotee should simply disregard intimate association with the non devotee we should not intimately associate with non devotees who are uh, addicted to women who are addicted to money only who are only hankering about uh, after the gadgets and how to become materially happy we must give up their association so it is a very, very beautiful pastime uh, placed uh, played by advaita acharya and chanakya when they were uh, sitting along and taking prasadam with shri chaitanya mahaprabhu shri advaita acharya and dikyananda prabhu sat side side by side and when prasada was being distributed they engaged in a type of mock fighting they had a uh, mock fighting between them because uh, generally they play this type of rules uh, because uh, to teach us the real essence so we must understand this first advaita acharya said i am sitting in line with an unknown medicant and because i am eating with him i do not know what kind of destination is awaiting so from this verse we can understand until and unless we know a person uh, about uh, a person about his consciousness what consciousness is have he have we should not associate with him or we should not also take prasadam with him shri chaitanya mahaprabhu this is being said by advaita acharya only shri chaitanya mahaprabhu is the riyano is in the riyano order of life consequently he does not recognize discrepancies as a matter of fact a sanyasi is not affected by eating food from anywhere and everywhere so advaita acharya prabhu is uh, explaining here that uh, that a person who is re- in riyano order of life means who is a sanyasi they are generally not affected by these things but we are we are all sadhana bhaktas we must not associate with the people who are befit of krishna consciousness if we do not know who these people are and what are their consciousness we should not eat with them if we are eating with them then generally their consciousness will be affecting our consciousness according to the shastras there is no discrepancies in the sanyasis eating at another's house but for a householder brahmana this kind of eating is faulty a householder brahmana generally uh, a householder who is a grihastha a grihastha ashrama he should avoid eating with those people who uh, about whom he doesn't know if he is a devotee or a non devotee or uh, what are, uh, what are his consciousness basically he is if he is a mendicant we do not know then we should not associate with them and we should not eat prasadam also with them it is not proper for householders to dine with those whose previous birth family character behavior are unknown so like uh, advaita acharya uh, has already explained that until and unless we know that uh, from which householder uh, means uh, what type of people uh, means with whom we are associating or eating with what type of consciousness he has what type of birth he has in the previous life and what from which family background he has and what type of character he is having and what is his behavior we should not as uh, take prasadam also with that so in the reply of that nityananda prabhu immediately refuted shila advaita acharya say you are a teacher of impersonal monism monism means uh, impersonal uh, monism basically those who are mayavadis they are uh, impersonal monism and the monistic conclusion is a great hindrance to progressive pure devotional service if we are uh, associating with the people who are monist who are mayavadas then it will be a great hindrance to progressive in pure devotional service so nityananda prabhu is explaining about this uh, if we are associating with the impersonal moy monism 
then what will happen? Those who are Mayavadas, if we are associating with them, um, means uh, that uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu always uh, states that Mayavada Bhasya Sunle Vaiva Sarvanas. If we listen to the words of Mayavada, and here also a very nice example given by Nityananda Prabhu, that even if we take uh, prasadam with the Mayavadas, then our consciousness is also affected. And there is a great hindrance to progress in pure devotional service. One who participates in your impersonal monistic philosophy does not accept anything but the one Brahman. So, uh, Mayavada has uh, their philosophy that everyone is Narayana, that one Brahman, everyone is Narayana. And we have been, they have a different philosophy. If we are going to associate with them, then our consciousness will be like that only. So, Another thing Nityananda Prabhu says that you are such a moinist and now I am eating beside you. I don't know how my mind will be affected with this. So like I have said that if we are also eating with them, even if we are eating prasadam, actually we are eating prasadam, we are not taking prasadam as the consciousness of prasadam. Though we are chanting Mahaprasade Govinda, Nama Brahmane Vaishnavi, we are not taking prasadam as Govinda. Actually, we are not taking. We are taking it as a state of enjoyment. Okay, this prasad is ready. Now I will, uh, this bhoga is ready. Now I will offer it to Krishna. Then I will eat. The general uh, consciousness is that I will eat that prasad. Actually, we have not yet reached to the uh, stage that, no, I have prepared it for Krishna and Krishna will enjoy it. After Krishna enjoys it, how Krishna will feel, I don't know. And how Krishna will and that realisment is different. So even if we are taking prasadam also, we should not take prasadam in front of those moinists, those materialists, as given an example by Advaita Acharya. Advaita Acharya is explaining that if we do not know the people, uh, what is his birth, how kind of, what kind of man he is, from where, what is his birth, what is his character, what is his behavior? We should not associate with him and we should not take prasadam with him. In the uh, re recurrence or uh, in the what we say that Nityananda Prabhu also explains this in back that uh, we should not uh, take prasadam with those moinists, those who are Mayavadis, those who are Sunyavadis, though they do not know, those people do, do not believe in God, those who are uh, Mayavadis, they do not. They have only one Brahman philosophy. If we are taking prasadam, then our mind also will be affected in this way. That we will also, uh, that there is one Brahman and we will be affecting our consciousness. So these are some references from which I have collected those purports and all. You can follow these references for collecting. Prabhu, can you move to So thank you so much for uh, hearing from me. Though I am not I am the most fallen imperfect soul. Uh, I, actually, I do not have any knowledge. I have just tried to keep my points that given by our Acharyas only. If uh, knowingly or unknowingly I have committed any mistakes in, onto your lotus feet, please forgive me. You are uh, all merciful devotees. Please bless me so that I can progress in my life, in my bhakti life and I can continue this a nice story. It's a wonderful presentation, you know. Very I mean, happy to hear from you. Well prepared and well presented as well. Yes, Adipol. Thank you so much, for All your glories, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Uh, very nice presentation. Prabhu, this is not my first time presentation, so I didn't have any. Presentation was awesome. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Prabhu. Very wonderful job. Presentation was very nice and uh, you just flawless, just, you know, fluently you spoke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep it up. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much.